You'll see this free HBO streaming GHD movies or something like that where you're lured to install that so-called malicious profile. Click on this uh, blue button and follow the installation instructions. What I want you to do is to click install and... Yeah, it says movies for free, verified with the green check check mark. It looks, it looks safe, but apparently I, I should know better. Yeah. So be careful what you install on your phone. Yes, because you are now uh, okay. under attack. And I'm now under attack, and so a D can do, see what I'm doing on my phone. Yeah, I want you to search something in Google. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hijack your iPhone for a second. So I'm sending a command, for example, to direct you to a different website. Let's say Bing.com. So you see that you just went to Bing.com. What I did is install a keylogger in every field that you have. So go and type in some things in the search bar. Every keystroke that you are making is actually going through the attacker's machine. And I can see all of those keystrokes, but more than that, Katie, I can actually control your device. So you're looking for TechCrunch. Mm -hmm. I can now take control of your keyboard and look for SkyCure instead. And now if you'll notice in a second, it is SkyCure that is actually making these actions on your behalf. Yeah, it showed on my screen what you were typing, uh, which would definitely creep me out. More than that, because I can change content that you see. So now you're in CNN, but this is not a real article on CNN, right? So no. you sent me a fake article on CNN. Yeah. Okay. Most of the attacks that you will see out there are not really visible for you, right? So you mm -hmm. don't even know that someone is doing all of these activities. The same goes for uh, uh, users and passwords. What I will show you is that I also attacked my own device here. And here you can see on the left my device. And the same way you connected to LinkedIn, I'm going to open my mail app, okay? As the attacker, I can actually gain access to the victim's user and password. This is terrible because this is the holy grail for attackers. What we're seeing today, that attackers that have access to the exchange password, they have access to send emails on your behalf, delete your emails, they have the ability to see who you meet with, where and when, they have the ability to change your contact details and to tap into your calls and access any other corporate service. Yeah, that's scary stuff. What else should I be worried about? I mean, I know I'm not supposed to do, use public Wi-Fi. Yeah, so I don't like this notion of don't use public Wi-Fi because it's not realistic in many cases, and then people are just dismissing those security experts saying all of these things. So uh, my recommendation is uh, uh, that people need to be aware of what they are doing, right? So as long as you have a security solution installed, you need to ease your mind out of it. If you want a bit more information about the threats that we see, we see network-based threats, Wi-Fi is one of them. And in general, don't perform sensitive activity on external Wi-Fi. You see some weird pop-up, do not necessarily agree to it. Try to click cancel before you click continue. So don't click continue when it says cannot verify server identity? No, okay. don't. Well, thank you so much for doing you, this demonstration. Appreciate it.